Well, hello, friends. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I'm trying to get a cool thumbnail. There you go. One of those should be a cool thumbnail. Let's see how it works. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we're going to look at our picks from the night before. We're going to do that after we do our picks for tomorrow, that of the 26th. Picks for the 26th. We're going to do that. We got three. You can see them in the background here, right? Right. Uh, then we'll look at our, how, how we did in our picks from the 25th. And uh, I'll tell you right now, we did pretty good. Pretty good. You know what's kicking my ass, though? The World Junior or the World Championships, not World Junior, IHF World Championships. I've had the worst record I've ever had at anything. Picking terrible. I think I've got two out of ten or something like that. I gotta check my tennis picks today. Uh, probably hit and get on that because I usually hit well on that. Clay is not my favorite, but we're doing all right. Ball picks hitting sixty five percent B. That's Joe Bork. Go check him out on his channel, Sports Fanatic News. Joe Bork does all my ball picks for me. He's hitting pretty good. He's doing pretty well. Um, I got apparently a tough year for ball. I'm not a ball guy myself. I do like the Jays. I do watch it. But that's why I pay people like Joe Bork to do the ball picks for me. And we have uh, UFC picks going to be coming up. Uh, once hockey season's over, we'll be getting into all other sports. I'll, I'll get some other cappers working on that. And you can come join me on my show, 3 to 5, on the Pearl of Wisdom Show, NHL Pearl of Wisdom Show, 3 to 5 Eastern, five days a week. Go there tomorrow. I have a wig. I'm wearing a wig this month. And check it out because I lost a bet on the show. And that's the kind of frolic we do over there. So I'd love to see you. Okay. Oh, we sent uh, somebody. I got a few letters from uh, from, from people. Uh, Leroy Blackwell from Chicago, Illinois, wrote. I still haven't got my pearls of wisdom necklace yet. Uh, uh, Tanisha Blonde, also from uh, upstate New York. I don't know, somewhere in New York, said they haven't got theirs yet. Melissa and Hernandez are working themselves to the bone to get you your pearls of wisdom necklaces. You're going to have to be patient, for my friends. Just have to be patient. If you, if they haven't got there in another week, though, send me another letter. And uh, I don't know. I'll do something. Thanks for your letters, though. We love them. Okay, let's go to our picks for. Let's go to our picks. Well, I can do it right from here. No, I can't because I, I can't switch. Okay. Islanders versus the Pit Islanders versus Pittsburgh Penguins. I have not got the side right once in this series. Uh, totals, great. Do well on totals. But sides, no. I think the Islanders put it away, okay, which means Pittsburgh's going to win. I took Pittsburgh to win in seven, but now that Sorokin is in, I even said when the series started I, that if they stick with Varlamov, I like Pittsburgh. If they go this back to Sorokin, I love this guy. Love, 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 love. I know he's young, but he plays a lot older than he is. He just crushed the KHL. Crushed. Dominic Hasek type numbers. So, anyways, I like the I'm gonna take the Islanders here and the under. The bigger thing will be the under, under five and a half. With Sorokin and Net, I think the under will come in. I just don't trust Jari in Pittsburgh. I should have been picking the Islanders every game. But Pittsburgh is so voodoo. They win with Jari. They win. They might win this one. I, I, I honestly, if I wasn't picking every game, I would fade this series all day long, every single time. But some of you guys want to pick them all or Cavaline on this and – I think that Sorokin will probably just outplay Jari and take that one. Florida versus Tampa Bay, similar situation here. I didn't like Florida until they stopped putting Bob Roski between the pipes. Um, Drigger, I thought he would do better. 
But now that they're going with Spencer Knight and they better be going with Spencer Knight, I'm taking Florida again to take it to game seven. Uh, and I think like it would have been as soon as I found out Spencer Knight was in there, you put a future on that for to win the series. Huge plus money. Put a bit on that. Just do it now. You'd probably still be all right. I would not doubt if Florida comes back and takes this series with Spencer Knight in. That kid is freaking off the chain, Matt. So taking t- t- we're taking Florida for plus money, and I'm going to under six again because Sorokin is in that. Um, I'm more on the side, though. I, I think Florida is going to win that. Vegas versus Minnesota. Vegas is not going to out get outshot 42 to 13 or whatever and lose again. Uh, Vegas is going to win this game. Vegas is winning this game. You're getting 177. We're putting large on it. And it's an elimination game. So I kind of like the over here. Uh, I know these goaltenders have been playing exceptionally well. At the very least, if it's a close game in the third, highly recommend you look at the over third period live bet, in-game bet. There. I don't usually tell you that sort of thing. That's usually patron-type stuff. And if you want to be a patron and get all that extra information, just uh, I'll put the link in the bo- in the description, or you can ask me in the comment section. I'll hook you up, and I'll give you a free month. Check it out. If you get in now, next year when hockey starts again, and if, you know, like say say you start now and you're like, I don't care about all the other sports. I only care about hockey. I'll block you your payment for until hockey season starts and you can start up again. Don't delete your payment, your, your uh, subscription. If you delete your subscription, I raise the rates every year. But if you stay on with me, I'll delete all. And even if you stay on and say, okay, I want you to block my subscription till hockey season starts. Even if you do that, you'll always pay that amount of money. You won't, you won't have to pay any more. So there you go. There's a little something, something for you. Okay. Those are our picks. If you need to head off to other lands, go save your, save everybody, you know, put out fires or, you know, just have a nap. That's very important too. You know, I like to have my naps. 14 naps a day keeps the everything away. That's what I say. Okay. So let's get to how we did tonight or last night, depending on what, to, what you look at it, for the 25th. So see how we did on the 25th. Here we go. Scores. There was two games. We'll do them real quick. Leafs versus Canadians. We had the Leafs. I also request, I said it was probably a good idea to go in reg, but we actually did go money line for three three pearls. We made about two pearls out of it, except we also had the under. So we made about four pearls. So not bad, just under four pearls. Also, we had the Hurricanes. And the under four, we made four. That's five, six, probably about five and a half pearls. Both of these, we nailed it, crushed them both. So we did well because we were down a little bit for the week, but now we're up again, and that's good. Tell me what you did down there in the bottom. Ah, oh, somebody gave shoot. I forgot to tell you. Uh, somebody wrote down all their picks. I got to go check out how they did. Uh, in the comment section, do your picks. Give me your picks. Give me your parlays. All this stuff. I'm not going to steal them off you. I just want to see how you're doing. I want to see people making money. I like to see people making money. Also, I got something else for you too. I forgot to mention this. Oh, I forgot to do this. Shoot, that was Maple Leafs and Canadians, Predators and Hurricanes. Um, I always forget to do that. I don't know why you got to adjust it every freaking time. Drive me crazy. There's no reason for that. Maybe, uh, maybe this is why. Maybe if I shorten this up a bit okay I'll, I'll figure that out later um okay what was i going to say Russ, if you're a capper if you want to make some money 
I got hockey season coming up. If you're soccer, if you do, I do tennis. I don't need a tennis person. If you do basketball or anything like that, let me know in the comment section. You can make a little scratch. I'll make a deal with you. Okay. You send me picks. I'll work out uh, some sort of a payment plan. You may not be able to make money right away, but if I increase patronage, I'll make sure to cut you in or whatever. We'll do something. Okay. So let me know if you want to make a little extra scratch or just have fun and you want to be part of this. Also, I'm looking at some other options that I'm, we're looking at right now where you can, where people can text me and I'll give you my picks of the day and stuff like that for a fee, like five bucks or whatever. And uh, I'll hook you up with that too. So let me know. That's my full 42%, boys and girls. Have a, I did the boys and girls thing again. I get in trouble for that, you know. I got in trouble for that. Shadow band. I got to stop. Friends. Friends. Anyways. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow where we do more picks and more frolic. We'll be all over the land. Kate, okay, bye.